So this is going to be the addition of HBR or HCL to conjugated dienes. So we're going to see the difference of the mechanism when you react to uh, diene, an alkene when it's conjugated with another pi bond. Right? And so this is the simplest example, which we see somewhat frequently. And uh, the first product or the first mechanism for this basically just goes as you would expect for a normal alkene addition. So pick one of our two. Right. The pi bonds add to the hydrogen. Then we have our decision of where to put the hydrogen. Putting the hydrogen on the primary carbon gives you the secondary carbocation. That's the better position. It also has uh, resonance stabilization here, making it more stable. Uh, that's going to be even more important in a minute. And then we have bromine left over as Br minus because the electrons flow to the bromine. So that's our nucleophile for the second step. Right, so this is what we would expect to happen. Um, with no changes, right? So just a simple alkene addition to one of our uh, pi bonds here. Nucleophile adds to the more stable carbocation. Then we get a hydrogen and a bromine where the alkene were. Uh, this is called 1,2 addition. The other possibility though is if the resonance gets involved. So Either way, the mechanism is going to start the same. And it's always going to be favored that the hydrogen adds to give you the more stable carbocation. Right? So there's no other options there. We're going to have our Br- minus left over. But what can happen here is this does have another resonance structure. Right? So so if we're drawing this in terms of a mechanism, we can show, well, these electrons could be shared toward the positive charge. Use a double arrow for a resonance structure, right? Moving the pi electrons to the center, positive charge on the end, hydrogen still here, bromine still left over. And then potentially what we're saying is the bromine nucleophile could add on the far end, right? So now we've added hydrogen, two, three, four, fourth position over there. That's where the bromine is going to go. So if that was the one, two addition product, this is obviously then the one, four. All right. So if we didn't want the positive charge on the primary carbon here because that was unstable. Why do we want it over here? You know, that's a good question. So two things. Uh, for one, this positive charge is primary, but it is also still stabilized by resonance. And then also um, these resonance structures, these two versions of this molecule, you know, aren't really what the molecule is going to look like uh, in reality. Remember, our resonance hybrid is going to be a truer picture where the pi electrons are shared throughout carbons 2, 3, and 4, and then the positive charge is shared as well, right? So while this positive charge is more stable, so this may be a stronger resonance contributor, may actually have a stronger partial positive charge here, there still is a partial positive charge on the end, so two potential places for the nucleophile to add there. You know, it can add on the second carbon, giving us the 1, 2 product, or the fourth carbon, giving us the 1, 4 product. We'll talk about that a little bit more in another video.